So the easiest introductions, of course, are for people who need no introduction. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Coming up is Bobby Kennedy. I want to start by introducing you to two of my children, Kit Kennedy and Connor Kennedy, who came here today to be arrested with the rest of you. And they know that it's not any of you who ought to be in jail, it's Don Blankenship who ought to be in jail for the rest of eternity. And somebody said to me today, I reported just now, well, what about clean coal? And you know that clean coal is a dirty lie. And you know that this enterprise, these coal companies, these coal barons, that this is, that Massey Coal and Peabody Coal and Arch Coal, these are criminal enterprises. And the only way they can get away with what they're getting away with is by corrupting our public officials and subverting American democracy. They're not just destroying the environment, but they're doing that as well. Jim Hansen is down here, and he's about to come up and talk to you about global warming. But I'm going to tell you a couple of other things that they're doing to us. And you know what they're doing to these mountains in West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. And I threw, flew over the Cumberland recently and saw what they were doing. And if the American people could see what I saw, there would be a revolution in this country. They are cutting down these landscapes, these historic landscapes, where Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett roam, that are the source of so much of America's values, our culture, our character, our virtues as a people. These landscapes that connect us to our communities, that to our history, that provide context to our communities, and that are the source of so much, that our, so much of our culture is rooted in those. And they're blowing them up. They buried 1,200 miles of rivers, according to EPA, They've cut down 470 of the biggest mountains in West Virginia. They're, within six years, they will have flattened an area the size of Delaware. When my father was fighting strip mining in Appalachian back in 1968, I had a... Yeah! I remember a conversation I had with him where he said to me, they're not just destroying the environment. They are permanently impoverishing these communities because there's no way that we, they can regenerate an economy from these barren moonscapes that are left behind. And he said they're doing it so they can break the unions. And that's exactly what they did. When he, when he told me that, there were 140,000 unionized mine workers in West Virginia taking coal out of tunnels in the ground. Today, there are fewer than 11,000 miners left in the state. Almost none of them are unionized because the strip industry isn't. They're taking more coal out of West Virginia than they were in 1968. The only difference is, back then, at least some of that money was being left in that state for salaries and pensions and reinvestment in those communities today, all of it goes straight up to Wall Street, yep. to Massey, to Peabody, to, to, to Arch Coal, and the big banking houses like Morgan and Bank of America, which own these operations, and they are liquidating the state for cash. And they are destroying, they are destroying America's heritage, our landscapes, our health, our prosperity, and Don Blankenship is making himself rich by making everybody else poor. He's raising standards of living for himself by lowering quality of life for everybody in our country. And not only is he destroying the Appalachians, but he has destroyed, and this industry has destroyed, all of the waterways in 19 states. EPA now says that every fish in every waterway in 19 states is now unsafe to eat because of mercury from coal burning power plants. One out of every six one out of every six American women now has so much mercury in her womb that her children are at risk for a grim inventory of diseases, autism, blindness, mental retardation, heart, liver, and kidney disease because of this industry. We are, the Appalachian Mountains have been destroyed, the high peaks of, the, of timber are being destroyed by acid rain from these coal burning power plants which have also sterilized one-fifth of the lakes in the Ad Adirondack Mountains. They are, there's 60,000 Americans who die every year from ozone and particulates, according to EPA, coming from the smokestacks of this industry. A million lost workdays, a million asthma attacks. These are the true costs of coal. A trillion dollars in subsidies these costs represent to this industry every year, and they could not survive in the marketplace if they had to pay their freight. That's it. It's you and I who are paying it. And I want to tell you one last thing. Last week, a company that I'm on the board of called BrightSource 
which is a solar thermal company, signed the second of two contracts, 2.3 gigawatts of power device to build solar thermal plants in the desert southwest for the state of California. These are bigger than almost any coal plant in America, and guess what? We're building it cheaper than you can build a coal plant, faster than you can build a coal plant, and once we build it, the energy is free forever. We don't have to go to Appalachia and cut down the mountains and poison our people and poison our children and subvert our democracy. We can build it. We can, instead of going to these poisonous, expensive, filthy fuels from hell, we can get cheap, abundant, clean fuels from heaven. And that's the way America ought to be headed right now. So I want to urge all of you to keep on fighting. We came here today for a noble cause. I, I think the police are on our side because they won't arrest us because they know we're right and they know that Don Blankenship ought to be in there instead of us. But I'm going to say something to you. When, when my kids said to me last night, we were in New York and we drove down through the snowstorm and they said, we, we, we need to go down there because this is our future that's at stake. They're not just destroying the environment. They're subverting our democracy because what they're doing is illegal, what they're doing in Appalachia, what they're poisoning our water, poisoning our air. They can't do that in this country. They are stealing the public trust. The only way that they can get away with it is by capturing the agencies, the regulatory agencies that are supposed to be protecting us from pollution and by subverting our democracy, by capturing these crooked politicians up on Capitol Hill who are nothing more than indentured servants to Arch Cole, Peabody Cole, and Massey Cole. And we've got to take back our democracy. We've got to take it back from them. Thank you very much.